Yes. That's right. That's what it is. It's Dazed and Confused! <laughs> Anyways, this is the new, uh, well, not new, it's been out a couple years, I guess, uh, Criterion Collection. And this is a huge ass box, man. This was like 30 some dollars I got in FYE. And I've added it up. I think this is the movie along with Lost Boys. I think I have tied that I've bought the most number of times in my life. I've owned two VHSs, the Bare Bones DVD, and both of those were two of the first DVDs I ever bought back in like 2001. Um, so that's three right there. And then I got both special editions. And then, okay, Days of Confused actually beat it because now this is the new Criterion. So I've owned like five copies of this in my life. Uh, this is crazy, but this is one of my all-time favorite movies. And if you haven't seen it yet, here's the Criterion edition, special like packaging and all. I think this is ripped off from like a Led Zeppelin cover. But look how awesome that is. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Okay, and it comes with, like, of course, the Criterion little collection guide. I'll show that in a minute. Comes with this awesome booklet. Look how thick this fucker is. Like, seriously, I'll just open it to a random page here. Like, a random... Just all kinds of awesomeness here. And, you know, like, little, like, little notes and essays and stuff, I guess. Just, it... it plays like a yearbook uh spirit of 76 quotes and everything and like stories this is amazing it's great okay now i'll show you this it comes with it i dream of one day meeting some of the actors in this and getting them to sign it and getting it in a nice big frame and i wish you could feel this because it has an awesome feel to it it's kind of like velvet kind of i know what they were going for but if you ever seen like the, uh, we have a DVD of Days Confused at the movie gallery I work at where this is the cover. This is awesome. Awesome, awesome. I'd love to get the sign and in a frame and everything. Alright. So, here's the actual DVD. Oh, can't ever tell if this is upside down or not with this damn thing. Alright, okay, there's the car. That opens it up. Even more awesome O5000. Boom. And then... Booyah! And when I first got this years ago, I sat forever and watched all the special features. There's a documentary on here that's longer than the movie itself. I'll put that down. And I'm just going to talk for a few minutes about the movie and what it's meant to me like over the years. Like It's just the best movie about nothing is the best movie about nothing at all. Like, everybody talks about how Seinfeld's a show about nothing. This is basically the same thing, but fuck Seinfeld, this is better. Um, I know I just defeated some of you Seinfeld people, but you know what? I don't care. Days confused, bitches. Okay. If you don't know the plot, well, who knows it? There really isn't any, but if you gotta make one up, I guess, last day of school on, in 1976, um, there's gonna be... Like, the people who graduated 11th grade are becoming seniors, uh, or, you know, it follows them around. And it also follows the, pe follows the people who's graduated, uh, like, junior high and will be becoming, like, freshmen in high school. So it's the new crop of seniors and the new crop of freshmen. And it revolves around this one night in uh, this small town, I think it's in Texas. And it just it's in 1976, so, of course... It's got, you know, the muscle cars, it's got the bell bottoms, it's got the hairstyles, it's got everything, it's got the perfect soundtrack. This is like the best time period movie you'll ever see. It looks straight from that time period. You know, the, the music's authentic, the cars are authentic, the, the clothes, everything. It's the 70s. You know, of course I wasn't born, so I don't know, but from what I can tell, is the best, like, authentic time period movie. Anyways, that 70s show totally ripped this off in so many ways. Uh, and I remember when that 70s show came on, it, it like the Days Confused fan site that I used to visit sometimes was talking about, like, hey, I hear there's going to be a Days Confused top TV show. It's totally ripped it off. They had comparisons down the line of it before it ever aired. So anyways, 
So it follows all these teenagers around. And semi plot is uh, one of the big stoner guys is going to have a party when his parents go out of town, but it gets, you know, busted uh, before it even happens. So they spend the night around, you know, just driving around. And there's no party, and they end up at like a. End up, you know, at the Emporium, hanging out, end up cruising around, and then they finally end up at the Moon Tower, you know, it's kind of like the park or whatever, where they just have, like, a beer bust hanging out. Uh, and that's the whole plot of the movie. And it just revolves around these people who know each other and, like, their interpersonal relationships. Everybody keeps connecting with one another. You know, and the new kids kind of trying to fit in, uh, people trying to be badasses, people trying to look cool. And it, it has so many people in here, like Ben Affleck is in this as a total asshole. Like, you, you just hate him as O'Banion. And it's probably one of his best roles. Like, I say this and Chasing Amy are my two favorite roles of his. Oh, and it's Rolling Glory Days. If you haven't seen that, check it out. It's awesome. He's a mohawk. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's see. Matthew McConaughey's only good film. Seriously. But he was perfect in this. He's a big sleaze bag, and it seems to be what he is in real life. So he's pitch perfect for this. I heard a story that the way he got cast is he met the director, uh, Richard Linklater, I think it, uh, I know that's the director, but I think it was him he met, at a bar and just was talking to him, and they cast him off of that. He was just a local in, like, Austin, Texas, or wherever they filmed it. Um, my personal favorite is the kid who plays, like, Junior, who the only other real thing that you can see him in is another one of my favorite films called Boys, starring Winona Ryder. And... He's in that as like one of the sub characters. Like Lucas Lucas Hawes is the the main guy in it with one on it. And there's just so many fucking people in here. Lots of like people that would go on to work with Kevin Smith. Um well I know it's the one dude, uh T S in um and Moritz, his brother his twin brother is in this. I don't know the different names, but it's his brother in this, it's not actually T S. And uh but yeah. So this movie, really, that's all the review you can give because it's not about much else. You know, uh, the one freshman girl trying to hang out with the new people, uh, the geeks trying to fit in with the cool guys, you know, the one dude gets in a fight with Nikki Cat. Uh, everybody seeing this knows what it is, loves it, can quote it a million times over. But the, I don't know what it is about this movie. It's just me and my friends always love Days Confused. Every day after we got it on... VHS in 6th grade, me and my friend Zach would come back to his house, uh, who I lived with for a while there, and I lived right near, so even when I wasn't living with him, I could just walk right over, and we would just hang out and watch Days Confused, like on repeat, daily. It was our routine. I don't know why. We weren't like big stoners or anything like that, like a lot of people would assume, you know, that, our fan, that the fans of this movie would be. We just love this movie. It's the perfect teenage hangout movie, and I remember... So clearly, the last day of my 11th grade year, I was like, I'm a senior now. I didn't go out and party. I watched Days Confused and party vicariously through them. So I was like, now, finally, I am one of them. And I remember, you know, freshman year, uh, you know, the, the last day of 8th grade uh, in my junior high. I was like, oh, I'm part of the freshman crew now. I've grown up with this movie. I love it. I don't, I'd love to see video responses from all of you that have grown up with this and love it as well. So... Just leave them down below at the bottom here. If you can't leave a video response, leave a comment. Please, leave a video response. I'd love to see this. What is your favorite memories of Days Confused? Like at a party, first time you saw it, whatnot. What, just what are your feelings about it? I'm going to start yabbering now because it's pro I don't know if it's past the 10-minute mark or not, but I'm going to stop. Because I could go on forever about nothing, just like this movie. That's amazing. And I love you. I'm Foz. And I'll see you...